Jesse's Biggest Hits. Four years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was Would I Lie to You by a duo who first met on the New York subway, thanks to a record by Marvin Gaye. I'll have details and that big hit after this. Casey's Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Well, we've got four big debuts this week, and that means we got to say goodbye to four droppers. Falling off the countdown are Wishing on a Star, Warm It Up, I'll Be There, and Good Stuff. And rolling in at number 35, here's this week's third debut. It's the first top 40 hit for a new duo named Charles and Eddie. This is Would I Lie to You. Casey's Top 40. On Casey's Top 40, I'm Casey Kasem. Now, we're up to Charles and Eddie, a duo that met in a bustling place where the number one rule is don't talk to strangers. They met on a noisy New York City subway. Tens of millions of passengers ride the Big Apple subway system every year. And a subway etiquette is developed, designed to give each passenger a sense of personal space and security. That's why passengers rarely look each other in the eye. And most important of all, they never ever strike up a conversation with a stranger. Instead, strap hangers, as New York subway riders are called, just stare blankly ahead, avoiding human contact for their own good. But singer Eddie Chacon is from California, and he didn't know the rules. <laughs> One day, Eddie was riding the subway, and he spotted a man directly across from him carrying a record store bag. Peeking through the top was the cover of a rare rhythm and blues album. It was Marvin Gaye's classic soundtrack to a 1972 movie called Trouble Man. When Eddie saw that... He broke every rule of subway etiquette and spoke to that total stranger. He said, hey, that's a great record. At first, Charles Pettigrew, the passenger with the album, didn't know what to think. He figured this guy was either nuts or he shared the same taste in music. Charles took a chance. He struck up a conversation with that stranger, and it turned out that they had more in common than just Marvin Gaye. Charles and Eddie discovered they were both singers. And how about this coincidence? They were both cutting demos in the same recording studio. Well, by the time they reached their stop, those two strangers had become friends and decided to try and put together a duo. The result of that chance meeting aboard a New York City subway car is the song that rides up a notch to number nine this week on Casey's Top 40. Charles Pettigrew told us he thinks Marvin Gaye's album, What's Going On, is the Bible of our generation. He said, we sit with those records and hear how they were laying back, taking their time. That taught us a lot about how to make music sexy without being explicit. Charles and Eddie, learn. Would I lie to you? Is at number 15. No! 